Don't make no sense to me, no beautiful woman out here like you pumping your gas by yourself. 10 o'clock at night. What's wrong with you? You crazy. <laughs> I said, a little bit. He said, well, shit, that's just the way I like them now. Don't play with it. They make young shit old. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Play with it. Now, look, can I, I just want to tell you something. If that's all right with you, I want to go ahead and tell you something. If that's cool with you. I said, go ahead, sir. Listen, all. Now... All my kids is grown. This ain't grown. All my kids is grown. I got a little bit of money in my pocket. I'm retired. What you trying to do? I said, sir, if you don't get the fuck out my goddamn face. I'm lying. I gave him my number. I did. I did. Shut up. I mean, it was really sweet. He was cute. Talking to Clyde was fun. Texting. It got weird when he called me. Cause he didn't know which Bluetooth to answer. He got two separate Bluetooths connected to the same goddamn phone. And when I called, he just yelling, "Hello, hello, hello!" I said, "Hello." He said, "There you is, and there you go. There you is." I said, "How you doing, Clyde?" He said, "Well, shit, I'm better now. I'm talking to my baby girl." I said, "Okay." He said, "Baby girl, I want to go ahead and do something nice for you. Why don't you pick?" I said, "Well, shit, we can go to dinner." He said, "Well, shit, that ain't nothing I can feed you. That ain't nothing. What time is good for dinner for you?" I said, "Well, between the kids and work." I'm thinking we could do dinner. Let's do it around eight o'clock. He said in the night time. <laughs> Ain't nobody going no goddamn outside no eight o'clock in the goddamn night time. Ain't nobody outside that time but heathens and hoes. You trying to rob me, bitch? You can have somebody curse you out and you still on the phone, and then a the bitch gonna say eight o'clock in the motherfucking night time. <laughs> I said, why don't we all just calm down? I said, you pick. He said, I can pick. I said, you can pick. He said, whatever I want to do. I said, whatever you want to do. Well, shit, let me think. Shit, I can do that. Shit. Now, look. Shit, I'm thinking I'll go ahead and take you to breakfast. I said, okay. He said, what time is good for breakfast for you? I said, we're not going to do that shit again. Uh, what time is good for breakfast for you? He said, well, shit. Now, let me think. Okay, now. All right. See, now I wake up at 3.30. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll take you to breakfast around 6. I'm like, nigga, in the morning? <coughs> I went, though. I went. I had the time. I had the time. My feet was hurting. He pushed me in his wheelchair. I, I had a time last night, okay? <laughs> As I'm talking to the class, if you follow me on Facebook, he don't know how to act. I got hundreds, I got tens of thousands of pictures on Facebook. Clyde found me liked every goddamn yeah. picture. Yeah. Not only did he like every picture, he commented on every fucking picture. Not only did he comment, but he said the same shit on every goddamn picture. Uh. There she go. There she is. My baby girl. Look at her. My little sister called me. She said, hey, one of daddy friends is on all your posts being inappropriate. You might want to call dad and tell him to check his friends. I said, first of all, bitch, that's my man. Don't do that. Don't. I hate my kids. Fuck them. I hate them fucking kids. Nobody told us it was going to be like this. You have a kid and they little and they cute and you dress them up. I got three. My son is 23. My daughter, she 18. That's the bitch right there. That's the fucking raggedy bitch right there. And my little one, she nine. She's still safe. But that 18 year old, woo. I never thought I want to drag a bitch in the street the way I want to drag this child here. Well, her raggedy fucking broke ass ain't never got no money. And it's a parent in here who's offended and I don't give a fuck. It's always a new mom want to talk to me, feel the way, want to deal with me. I just want to let you know it was offended. You called your 18 year old daughter, you called her the B word, and as a parent myself, I just want to tell you from one mother to another mother, I would never. I just want to let you know I'm offended and appalled. 
pause. <laughs> and I don't get mad. I ask her simple shit. How old your kids? Well, my son is six. <laughs> my daughter, she's seven. I said, miss, shut the fuck up, bitch. Because you a new mom. You just get here. Fuck you and them kids. You ain't a real mother yet. <laughs> you still like them kids. You still think them kids gonna be somebody. Miss, them kids ain't finna be shit. Let me tell you right there. They're gonna live in your house till they 30 and send you $40 cash app requests every two goddamn days. That's what's gonna happen. Fuck you. You're not a real mother yet. You probably drive home from work and get right out the car. Who the fuck gets right out the car when they get home from work? Stupid ass new parents. Real parents sit in the car for 30 minutes and eat snacks and watch YouTube and TikTok. I'm not getting out this damn car. I'm living my life in here. Laughing hard <laughs> in the car, living. <laughs> I remember once my nine-year-old came to the window. She was like, hey, mom, what are you doing down there? I said, you better go back in the house. I'll drive the fuck off. I swear I'll leave. I will leave. Leave me alone. Because you just came home from work, and being a parent is a whole nother job. I need a break. Give me my lunchtime. I almost killed myself once by mistake. I pulled into my garage, closed the garage oh, door, car still running, carbon monoxide all in the air. I would have rather die than share my Chick-fil-A nuggets and lemonade with anybody in that goddamn house. You should have seen me slumped over in my seat still trying to get my nugget and my Polynesian sauce. Let me sip this lemonade because I know I'm going to hell. Let me just get a little cool beverage in. <laughs> And my 18 year old, she's so extra. These kids nowadays, they just extra. She 18, she's so extra. She talk with her whole body. I can ask her a simple question. She can't just answer it. She gotta give me the whole body as the answer. Simple. Casey, are you hungry? That's all I asked her. Casey, are you hungry? That's all I fucking asked her. She talked with everything. Casey, are you hungry? This is her response. Like, so like, am I hungry? Whatever, like, am I hungry? Like, like, am I hungry? Like, am I hungry? Like, like, am I hungry? Whatever, like. Oops. So anyway, like, so like, I'm hungry. Whatever you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry, but I'm not like. <laughs> Like, I'm hungry, but I'm not like hungry, hungry. I'm like, bitch, I'm, I'm hungry, bitch. Is you fucking. <laughs> I'm hungry, but I'm not like hungry, hungry. <laughs> She's a fucking bitch. <laughs> when she was 16, she told me she hated me. Yeah. yeah. She went to go to a party at 16, she got no information. She mm. walked up to me, hey, mom, like, so like, <laughs> so like, my friends are having a party, they were like, can I go? Yeah. Like, can I go? <laughs> I said, who's gonna be there? My friends? Yeah. I said, are there gonna be an adults there? I mean, like, I don't know, I don't live here. <laughs> I said, is there gonna be alcohol there? Probably. <laughs> is there gonna be drugs there? I mean, probably. <laughs> there gonna be boys there? I mean, that's where I wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you can't go. She said, what you mean? I said, you can't go, you don't have enough information, you can't go. What you mean I can't go? I don't understand. I said, you can't go. Mm -hmm. She said, what you mean I don't understand? Like, what you mean I can't go? I don't understand what you're saying. Yes. I said, I mean, like, like you can't, like, like, you can't, yeah. like, period, like, period, like, you can't, you can't go, like, like, eh, like, eh, yeah. like, you, yeah. problem, you can't, yes. <laughs> You can't go, like. She said, I hate you. Shit. I hate you, mom. You never let me do what I want to do. You're ruining my life. I hate you. Mm. I said, oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hate you too, bitch. Oh my God. I've been wanting to say that shit for years. I hate you too, bitch. I hate 
hate you, bitch. I hate you, hate you, bitch. I fucking hate you, bitch. <laughs> hate you, bitch. Oh my god, I feel so much lighter. I've been wanting to say that shit forever. Oh my goodness. Look at us, twinsies. Look at us getting along. I hate you, bitch. <laughs> She <laughs> wanna come up to me and apologize an hour later. So I just wanna come up to you like Sophie, whatever, like tell you like like I said something earlier and I shouldn't have said what I said because I didn't really mean what I said and I was just like all of my feelings or whatever because I know you want my mother you just wanna say kill me whatever like that. And it's like people in the world they be kidnapping and stuff like that, like you know all the back room and stuff like that's like right now. <laughs> I'm coming to you from a woman to a woman. And I just wanna tell you I'm sorry for what I said. And I said, I appreciate that. It shows a lot of accountability on your end. Thank you for being responsible and recognize that you need to control your emotions. She says, say less. <laughs> say less. <laughs> and then she go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no, I meant my shit. I hate you. <laughs> my name's Takara Williams. Thank you. <laughs>